friends, so in today's video I have this everyday glam look for you guys. It's super easy and it's that 10 to 15 minute everyday glam that you can do, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy and we're going to go ahead and jump right into today's video. Alright guys, so I'm starting off looking not so glamorous with the stank face. Okay, you caught me. Okay, you get my glam sometimes and you get my unglam. So the first thing is, I'm going to prime my face. I'm using my Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Now, a great smoothing face primer, perfect for oily skin. Check it out. And it's also found at the drugstore. Then to prime my eyes, I'm using this Amazon eyeshadow brush, also pairing it with my Jordana 2-in-1 concealer, and I apply this to my eyes just to set my eyes for my eyeshadow that we're going to use today and get it ready and steady to go. Then most of the eyeshadows we're using today is from this MAC eyeshadow palette. This shadow that I'm using is an off-white eyeshadow. We're going to apply this on the lid area for eyes. This is going to help to really set that concealer and use this as a great base for the rest of our eyeshadows today. And then we're going to also, let do it, okay, pop it at the brow bone of her eyes. Now my next step is to fill my eyebrows. I'm using my It Cosmetics Universal Brow Product. Now this product is like literally goes. It is so amazing. It slays any eyebrow color. I discovered It Cosmetics about five to six months ago. I literally love their company and I love their products. So definitely check them out. Then going back into that MAC Warm Eyeshadow Palette, I'm going into this shadow that is very similar to MAC's Cocoa Bear or Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear. Thank you very much. And this shadow, I'm going to be popping right in that crease area. And you can see also, I'm taking it a bit higher into that crease because this shadow is going to be the main shadow in the crease or the main color that we really want to pop in that crease area. You want like a warm shadow in the crease area for today's look. Then to deepen out that shadow, I'm going in with one of my favorites. Yes, I have to do a dance for it because it is that good, okay? If you've ever tried brown script from MAC, you know how I feel about that shadow, okay? I'm going to also pop that right on top of that MAC shadow that we used first that is really similar to Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. Pop that onto the eyes or onto the crease area or right on top of that eye. You get what I'm saying. I just try to explain it like three ways, but I know you understand. Then go back in with that same shadow that we used to set the concealer. I'm going to pack this on the eyes. And I'm using this brush that is from Urban Decay. So it makes your life so much easier with packing shadows on the lip area of your eyes. For this step, you usually want to use an off-white eyeshadow because what we really want to stand out is a smoky wing. That's going to be super easy to create, guys. Next, I'm using Makeup Geek's Corrupt. Now, this is a matte black eyeshadow. I'm going to use this to smoke out that wing or do a smoked out wing. And the really easy way to do this is using a nice flat top brush again, but it's a bit more firmer. And you're just going to run this right where you would usually do your wing. And this part, I honestly will say, does take practice. The first time I ever did like a smoky, smoked out wing, I was so nervous, guys. I was like, girl. Try it again. <laughs> so definitely, it's practice makes perfect. So definitely give it a try. And you guys, we are done with all the eyeshadows. Next is we're just going to pack on some eyelashes. These are Kiss Lashes in 05. Really flirty, really fun. This look, I definitely recommend like spiky or spiky fun lashes, okay? Then moving on to concealer today, I'm using the Onami Concealer. And this is the Bright Elixir Concealer. Now, I'm using this to apply under my eyes. And the reason why, if you guys are ever wondering why I apply my concealer first, is I feel like it helps me to use, one, less foundation. Two, it makes my foundation look so much more flawless. And three, it takes a bit more time for the concealer to set into my skin. And then, after I do that, it just really absorbs into the skin and it looks much more flawless on the skin. For my foundation today, I use the wonderful Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. If you have oily skin, I definitely recommend for you to set it like I'm setting it right now. I just use my black opal powder. Then for my highlight today, I'm using the BH Cosmetics Missy Lin Palette. I've been loving this, and I just focus my highlight mostly on my nose. Now, you can definitely go ahead and highlight those cheekbones. It's really up to you. And then for my lips, I thought I would do a more bolder, plummy lip that's definitely stand out more. If you guys saw my Instagram, the post that I did with this smoky wing liner, I did a more pinkish, nudish lip. But for today's video, I thought I would do more a plummy lip. So definitely change up the lip colors with this look. It's so neutral and so easy to do, guys. You, It's just 
it's just sometimes you can also add like a green lip if you want or a purple lip. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this look today from start to finish. Give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoy it. Subscribe for more videos. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Adios.